imagine a bustling city, brought to a halt in a matter of hours. This was the reality for the people of Pripyat, in the north of Ukraine, on April 26, 1986. In the blink of an eye, life as they knew it was irrevocably altered when the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, their city's lifeblood, transformed into the epicenter of one of the worst nuclear disasters in history. An experiment, poorly designed and recklessly executed, led to an explosion that spewed a deadly cloud of radioactive material into the atmosphere. The immediate aftermath was chaos. Pripyat was hastily evacuated. Brave men and women risked their lives in desperate containment efforts, battling an invisible enemy that neither bullet nor bomb could vanquish. The Soviet Union, in a futile attempt to save face, initially tried to cover up the magnitude of the disaster. But the truth, much like the radiation, could not be contained. To this day, the city remains a haunting reminder of the dangers of nuclear power gone wrong. At the heart of this disaster was the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Tucked away in the northern part of Ukraine, near the city of Pripyat, the power station was a symbol of the Soviet Union's commitment to nuclear power. This behemoth of a facility boasted four RBMK-1000 reactors, a design unique to the Soviet Union. Each reactor had the capacity to generate 1,000 megawatts of electrical power, a testament to Soviet engineering. The late 70s and early 80s were a time of nuclear optimism in the USSR. Nuclear power was seen as the future, a response to the energy crisis of the previous decade. The Chernobyl plant was a proud example of this vision, an embodiment of progress and technological prowess. Yet, beneath the surface, there were significant design flaws and a culture of complacency that would prove catastrophic. But it was a poorly designed experiment that would seal Chernobyl's fate. In the early hours of April 26th, a routine safety test went horribly wrong. The Chernobyl engineers, tasked with testing how the reactor would cope with a power outage, inadvertently set the stage for one of history's most catastrophic nuclear disasters. Their plan was to simulate a station blackout to develop a safety protocol for maintaining reactor cooling water circulation until the backup electrical generators could provide power. This was a poorly designed experiment, and to make matters worse, it was performed under less than ideal conditions. The reactor's power level fell too low, making it unstable when operators attempted to increase the power. In the confusion, a critical safety system was switched off, a decision that would have dire consequences. A sudden surge in power caused fuel pellets in the reactor to explode, puncturing the fuel channels and then the reactor itself. This led to a series of steam explosions that blew the 1,000-ton cover off the reactor, releasing a cloud of radioactive material into the atmosphere. In the aftermath, the Soviet Union scrambled to contain the disaster and its fallout. The response to the disaster was swift, but not without its flaws. As the magnitude of the catastrophe became apparent, the Soviet Union initiated a massive evacuation and containment effort. Over 100,000 people were displaced from their homes, forever severing ties with their past. A mammoth concrete sarcophagus was constructed to entomb the damaged reactor, a testament to humanity's desperate bid to contain the invisible enemy, radiation. Simultaneously, the Soviet Union was grappling with another battle, the Battle of Information. In a bid to downplay the severity of the incident, the government initially withheld the truth, not only from the international community, but also from their own citizens. It was a cover-up of epic proportions, one that would eventually crumble under the weight of the truth. The brave souls who stepped forward to help, despite the risk, became symbols of courage and sacrifice. But the impact of Chernobyl extended far beyond the immediate fallout. The legacy of Chernobyl is still felt today, over three decades later. The invisible enemy, radiation, has left a lasting mark on the environment and the health of people in the region. In the years following the disaster, there was a significant increase in thyroid cancer cases, especially among those exposed as children. Even today, many people suffer from various radiation-related illnesses. The once bustling city of Pripyat now sits within an exclusion zone, a ghostly reminder of the disaster. This area, roughly the size of Luxembourg, is largely uninhabited by humans. It's a silent void, left to the mercy of nature and time. Yet, it's not entirely devoid of life. In the absence of humans, wildlife has reclaimed the land. Wolves, bears, and other animals roam freely, adapting to the radiation in surprising ways. The exclusion zone has inadvertently become a unique wildlife sanctuary. And yet, despite the tragedy, life has found a way to adapt. Today, Chernobyl stands as a testament to the resilience of nature and the enduring impact of human error. The once bustling city of Pripyat is now a ghost town, its eerie silence occasionally broken by the rustle of wildlife. 
Strangely, the exclusion zone has become a refuge for a thriving ecosystem, with species like wolves, deer, and even horses flourishing amidst the ruins. Despite the pervasive radiation, Chernobyl has also evolved into an unlikely tourist attraction. Visitors from around the globe venture here, drawn by a mix of historical intrigue and morbid curiosity. They walk its deserted streets, a chilling journey into a not-so-distant past. The disaster's legacy extends far beyond Pripyat's borders. It has shaped perceptions of nuclear power, fueling debates on its viability and safety. As we continue to grapple with the challenges of sustainable energy, Chernobyl serves as a potent reminder of the immense responsibility that comes with harnessing the atom. Chernobyl serves as a haunting reminder of the past, and a cautionary tale for the future.